the minutes after it happened and like how it like dinosaur bones and stuff. But the first half of the article was describing what happened to the Earth. Hey Meredith. Hey. Why? Going to spooky forest time. We were asked to investigate Blood Mountain cabins because there was a lot of activity happening to the family that lived there and owned the cabins. Uh, the activity included lights flickering on and off in the bedroom that stopped when the owner entered the room, and they started flickering again when he left. The owner's wife was tapped on the shoulder while doing laundry, and when she turned around, no one was there. There was a co-worker staying in the downstairs apartment who said he was awoken by his bed shaking. At approximately 3.30 a.m., some loud sounds along the floor happened in the owner's daughter's room, and they led to the door, which swung open. A Native American man has been reported seen in two of the cabins, and there was a report of someone waking up and being held down and unable to move in one of those cabins. The cabins were a long drive from Atlanta, about two hours, but it was very scenic and beautiful the whole time. We arrived at approximately 7 p.m. and we went into the store which was connected to the owner's house to pick up keys to our cabin and to talk to him about the activity. We decided to go put our things in the cabin first before starting the investigation. We did a baseline and a walkthrough of the house so the can help us just to check things out well. and see where so the activity had been happening. To turn it on. We decided to do our first EVP session downstairs in the store. And we set up the flashlight and the K2 meter and all our DVRs on the table. If you're here with us now, you think you could put some energy to turning on that flashlight? I believe so. Were you the one that touched Tracy? Was that you? If that was you, can you do it again? Can you turn it on for us? If that was you, turn it on for a yes. Did you touch Tracy in the laundry room? Like Tracy, can you turn on the flashlight? If you like Tracy, I'm gonna need you to turn it on. I'm not sure. I mean, these things are so sensitive. If you get it right in the wrong spot, it might turn on on its own. That one almost felt like a joke. <laughs> It's weird that it keeps coming off on every save, you like Tracy. Good idea. Um, cool. Next, we moved to the downstairs apartment where the co-worker is staying, where he felt like his bed was shaking. We brought the flashlight with us to see if the entity from the store followed us in there. Apparently, you like to play with the flashlight not too long ago. Do you want to play with it again? As you'll see in a moment, the entity did indeed follow us into the apartment. Maybe we should get Tracy to come down here with us. Is that you? You said Tracy again. 
Can you try that again? Do you want Tracy? Would you like it if Tracy were here? Can you turn it on for yes? Maybe hold it on if you have enough strength? Do you not like Tracy? Anytime you want to answer yes, just turn it on. So if you don't like Tracy, I need you to turn it on for me one more time. Did you know Tracy? Do you need to get a message to Tracy? Do you want to turn it on for us if you need to get a message to her? You're tapping shoulders. I'm assuming you need to get a message across somewhere. Do you feel protective over Tracy? I think that is a yes. Maybe you could tell us in one of the little red lights that we have in our hands as to why you're protective of her. Like, why do you want to protect her? Do you feel like she's in danger? That's good. That's a good sign, yeah. So are you just being helpful then? Okay. Very good. Were you trying to help her with the laundry? She probably does a lot of laundry. Oh. Okay. Let's see. That's so nice of you. Can you turn it back on for us now? Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. What about the daughter upstairs? Do you feel like you need to protect her? Did you go up into her room recently? Did you used to do your own family's laundry? Or help with chores? Do you like to stay in the store area and help around there? Do you have enough strength to turn that back on for us again and let us know that you're here with us? Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So maybe we're just not asking the right questions. <laughs> Well, flickered on again, yeah, so yeah. Can you turn it back off? Like all the way off? Yeah, it's pretty neat. Are you excited that we're here and we're talking to you? Well, okay then. Yeah, I know, yeah, you just left. Sorry. But that's okay. That's all right. How do you feel about some of the people that come through here? We hear a lot about uh, the guy that comes through here with the tar tarot cards. Do you ever uh, talk to him when he's here? Do you know who we're talking about? Are you bored here sometimes? <laughs> we were asking too many questions. Yeah. But. Yeah. I have to slow down. Are, are we asking too many questions for you? I'll give you a minute. It takes a lot of energy to turn that light on, so. I'm glad that you like the flashlight, but if you 
want to try out the green light, it, it might be a little easier for you. But you can use whatever you feel comfortable with. Do you like the flashlight? Is that your favorite? They may not know what we're talking about when we're asking that. It's a, yeah, it's a or heater. Yeah, it's a heater or something. Well, this is interesting. Yes, thank you for interacting with us. Yeah, we appreciate that. I mean, yeah, thank you. We really just wanted to talk. Do you ever go down to the basement? No, I don't. Did he say that? I don't know. If he no, he said his coworker. Well, this is exciting, but we do have like, two other rooms to go. Yeah. Yeah. And it's getting kind of late. Yeah. So well, we're gonna move on to another room. You're welcome to come talk to us there. We do need to cover some other rooms. Okay. You want to come with us? Yes. Okay, we'll take you with us then. Yeah, you can okay, come with yeah, us. You can come, come with us. I'm going to pick up the flashlight right now. Okay? Okay. After that, we moved upstairs to the daughter's bedroom, yeah, yeah, where she had heard me. strange knocking sounds moving along the floor that led to her door, okay. and the door swung open. <laughs> <laughs> we brought the flashlight and the K2 and set them up on the bed. Okay. Alright, let's see if our if our friend followed us up here. Okay. I don't have if I don't sit on the bed, let me know if the battery's getting low because I can it doesn't have night vision but it can pick up lights. Actually the battery's still doing okay. okay. So yeah, yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna set this flashlight. We should um we should point this camera at it. Well, so it couldn't fit it up on. Oh. Yeah, yeah, because okay. it may not be sensitive enough. Well, gotcha. Can you ask her if she can see the K2 meter? On the, um, no. From with the radio? Mm -hmm. Where's the thing? Hey, can you see the K2 on the camera? Let's not, let's not mess with it, because I want to see if we can get the yeah. door open. Oh, I already, yeah, I already did. So is that back where it needs to be? Yeah. <gasps> Did it move? Yeah. What well, it might have been the radio. Oh, that's true. What moved? Okay, too. Yeah, just a little mm -hmm. bit, okay. but it could have just been the. That's going off too. Okay. That's the first time I've done that all night, and the radio's been around it. So. Okay. Well, let's party. Let's do this okay. thing. So. Our, our, is our friend here? Oh, it's, look, it's, it's yeah. doing it. It is. I want to get a little bit closer. I'm going I'm to turn, turn off the radio just in case. I think you're standing so that Oh, I am, damn it. Okay. You get on that side. Uh, yeah, let me do that. You might be able to get some um, K2 movement, and I'm going to turn off the radio just in case, even though it hasn't been doing We decided that. after further review yeah. that the movement on the K2 meter was probably due to the daughter's Dad. tablet Hello. that was receiving messages. Hi, so we're somebody in here. Because the flashing on the K2 seemed to coincide yeah, with the, when the messages were being received. I'm going to turn on the flashlight. Our security cameras did pick up some interesting activity while we were not in the room, as you'll see in this clip. We're not sure whether it was due to a pressure change in the house or an entity, and we'll be attempting to debunk it when we go back and visit the cabins again very soon. Next we visited Wild Boar Cabin, where all of us felt a very threatening, oppressive energy. Okay. All right, so are we going to sit down? Are we going to Yeah, let's sit down on the coffee table. Yeah. All right. So here we are in Wild Boar Cabin. Blood Mountain. 
there anybody here with us tonight that would like to speak to us? There's a clock. I think it's a drip from like... Yeah, there's oh. something ticking or dripping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, apparently the spirit of a Native American comes here. Are you here with us tonight? You can tell us if you're here with us. You want to approach the little green light that's on the table there? It'll light up for us and let us know that somebody's here. We caught several Class B EVPs in yeah. Wild Boar Cabin, and we'll share a few of them with you here. Oh my god, Elf Light, how all these windows Oh, there is a lock for this green door. Oh, it's just a piece of wood. Oh, there is a lock for this green door. Oh, it's just a piece of wood. Oh, it's just a piece of wood. Oh, it's just a piece of wood. Wild Boar Cabin, close to 11 p.m. Okay. Wild Boar Cabin, close to 11 p.m. Okay. We also caught this strange sparkling light in the Wild Boar Cabin living room. We don't know what caused it. None of us were wearing anything reflective. Uh, nothing should have Are been reflecting in the window. To you? Is that why you're here? Are boars important to you? Is that why you're here? Next, we moved to the wolf cabin. There was no reported activity in this cabin, but there wasn't anyone staying in it that night, so we had the keys and got to go in and check it out. Do you know about some of the spirits that run around here? Tell us there's any Native Americans here, if you're not one. Despite there being no reported activity in Wolf Cabin, we still caught an EVP. Blood Mountain Cabins was quite an adventure, and we're excited to return. We caught a lot of great evidence, more than we ever expected, and more than we've ever caught in any other investigation before. We're looking forward to returning to Wild Boar Cabin and staying there for the night to catch some more EVPs and see if that negative energy is still there. We may perform a cleansing if the owners choose to do so. And hopefully we'll have more evidence to share with you. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe. Please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We're always sharing interesting things and we'd love for you to join us.